Welcome back, everybody. Imagine giving birth to a seemingly healthy newborn only to find out a few weeks down the road that your baby is deaf and you don't have any explanation as to why. Well, that is what happened to a Western New York family, and they found they're not alone. Channel 2's Stephanie Barnes shares their story and how they hope it can educate others. Oh, man. It's a typical weekday morning in the Fitzgerald household. Mom, dad, sister, and brother are spending some time together in their playroom. You sharing your tea? They're talking with each other, something they would have never thought twice about until their son, Chief, was diagnosed with profound hearing loss at just six weeks old. Right away, I started thinking, how could this have happened? The Fitzgeralds have no family history of hearing loss, and by all accounts, Chief was an otherwise healthy baby boy. As they filtered through doctor after doctor searching for answers, Mom Marielle was doing her own research too. I came across CMB and I found that it's the leading non genetic cause of hearing loss and responsible for up to 30% of all hearing loss. CMV or cytomegalovirus. According to the CDC, more than half of adults by age 40 have been infected with the virus. Most infected, though, don't show signs. But an infected mom can pass it to a baby in utero and the effects of that can be damaging. Chief is just one case. According to the Fitzgerald's audiologist at Buffalo Hearing and Speech, the range of outcomes is huge. We have other kids who, you know, they know while mom's pregnant that, um, you know, they have a small head, they come out and they either have very tight muscle um, controls, um, vision impairment, um, progressive hearing loss. Right now in the state of New York, CMV is not a standard pregnancy screening. And yet the National CMV Foundation says it is the most common congenital viral infection in the U.S., affecting one in every 150 babies born each year. CMV passes through body fluids like saliva. Doctors can't say for sure, but it is possible that Sister Finley picked up the virus in daycare and Mom Marielle contracted it while carrying baby chief. Something Marielle says no doctor ever warned her about. Like most pregnant women, I did everything I could to ensure a healthy pregnancy. I followed all of my doctor's recommendations to avoid certain foods. I didn't go on a vacation to Florida with our family to avoid Zika, right? Um, but no one ever said I should probably try to avoid my own daughter's saliva. And if they had, I would have. Wow. Doctors say that CMV is not curable, but it is preventable. Yeah, and both the Fitzgerald family and specialists at Buffalo Hearing and Speech say if you are pregnant or thinking of becoming pregnant, you should talk to your doctor about prevention and early CMV screening. That is so scary. Yeah. Thank you to Stephanie Barnes for bringing us that report.